coordinates, level four mobilization. Location, Fisk Tower. Fisk? SWAT is 1084 at Fisk Tower. All units stand by. Warrant is en route. I'm sorry I'm late. started without me. The Grant Committee's director will be here soon. It's fine, Parker. I invented this equipment. I think I can handle it. Power damper. Oh, man. Um, maybe we should abort. Not yet. Hold on! Dr. Octavius, are you okay? <coughs> Another setback. <coughs> but we're close. Is anyone hurt? No, it, it was all the, my fault. The energy levels exceeded our expectations. From a certain viewpoint, that's a very positive development. It doesn't smell very positive. I assure you, in the next phase... Let's not get ahead of ourselves. <coughs> Is there somewhere else we can discuss this? Maybe you should take the rest of the day off, Peter. But we'll talk later. Parker! Dr. Octavius, I, uh, uh what you got there? Chinese. If I know you'd be here, I would've... What are you working on? Oh, just a side project. <sighs> of course. It's you. I, uh, I, I don't know what oh, you're... Oh, come on, Parker, it's obvious. L -l let me explain. I only wish you'd told me sooner. I wanted to. I was afraid that if word got out, my family might be in danger. Huh. Yes. Ah, I guess if you design his equipment, you're bound to be a target too. Yeah. Um, yeah. Don't worry. Your secret's safe. Well, I'll leave you to it. That should do it. Hey, Martin, so sorry I'm late. You were right on time. Just keep her distracted while we get everything ready. You got it. Hey, there's my favorite aunt. Peter, what a nice surprise. Need some help? Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, there are some heavy no, boxes. No, 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 I mean, I mean, I mean, not yet. I mean, I came to, uh, 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 I just, just wanted to talk. Okay. Okay. Um... Peter. Are you in trouble? Do you need money? No, no I, mean, I mean, I'm a little behind on my rent, but... No, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Girl problems again, huh? What? No, that's crazy. I still wish you and MJ could work things out. She's a great girl. She is, but... The two of you would make some beautiful wow. baby. Uh... 
Peter. What is it? Come on, you can tell me. These past few years, you helping me through college and working here, and sacrificing so much and asking for nothing. I just wish there were more people like you in the world. He's right. Five years ago, you walked in here and told me you were inspired by my mission to help others. Now it's you who inspires me. Thank you, May, for everything. Here's for many more years of service. Thanks again for setting all this up. Oh, I just wish I could do more. Well, May's always told me if you help someone, you help everyone. Yeah, uh, maybe we should send May to City Hall to have a word with the mayor. Oh, I gotta run. Um, thanks again for the party and everything. It, it, it really means a lot. Since when did Mix become Italian? Uh, no idea, but I'm still glad he makes these fries. Totally. Best in the city. So, how's the grind at the Bugle? Hmm. Well... Yeah, well, I just got an all-caps text from Robbie about my so-called antics tonight. So it looks like I'll be meeting with a legal team. Again. As uh, soon as he reads the article you're gonna write, guaranteed promotion. So, creepy mask, guys. What's your take? Just another night in the city. What's your take? I feel like there's a bigger story there. Let's not make this all about business. How's, how's it going with you? Did, did you get that promotion? No, but we're on the cusp of something really big. You know Oscorp would hire you in a heartbeat, right? One phone call to hair. Sure, but Dr. Octavius's work will help millions. I'm, I'm, I'm right where I want to be, right where I should be. Almost oh, sounds like it's more important than your other job. I've never heard you talk like that before. A well, lot can change in six months. Why did you ask me here, Pete? You know, just, uh, just dinner between friends. Friends. Is that what we are? I mean, we could be, you know, if, if, if that's what you wanted. There's a lot of baggage here. Yeah, sure, but is that so bad? I mean, baggage can carry good things, too, like, uh, like money and uh, keys and raspberry lip balm. Do you remember why we broke up? This is a trick question, isn't it? Saved by the siren. Talk to you later. Go. Love seeing you two together again. You always were my favorites. Peter, what can I do for you? I'm sorry to bother you, Mr. Lee. I have a friend, Mary Jane, she's a reporter. She's doing a story on art imports and she found this piece. Well, she wanted an expert opinion on it and I know you have a degree. And this might be the first time I actually get to use it. Let's see what you have. Interesting. Where did she find it? I'm really not sure. Why, what is it? A replica of an antique Chinese opera mask. I haven't seen one in years. This symbol here roughly translates to demon. Demon? Well, my father read me ghost stories with that mask and symbol in it when I was young. Scared the hell out of me. Peter, listen. That mask, it's... It could be connected to dangerous people. Mary Jane might want to find a different story. Do you think she's in trouble? I don't know. Why take the risk? How does it work? 
just like a natural arm. You think of what you want it to do, and... Yes! <laughs> hey! Hey! What do you think you're doing? This site's been declared a safety hazard. Stop that right now! This is highly sensitive equipment. That's it. I'm calling the mayor's office directly. Peter Parker, how the hell are you? Speak of the devil. Mr. Osborne. Oh, please. How long have we known each other? It's Mr. Mayor. <laughs> it's Norman. Norman! Norman, what do you think you're doing? The grant agreement you signed has strict safety provisions. This isn't your first violation. <sighs> Those were excused. By me. We should have confiscated this equipment long ago. But... but I've had a breakthrough. <laughs> Thank you for your great service to our country. These folks will escort you to Oscorp Robotics, where you'll receive the latest in prosthetics. No charge. This isn't about safety infractions, is it? I'm trying to help you, Otto. You're free to continue your work in a secure environment at Oscorp. You always were the smartest guy in the room. You haven't changed a bit. Neither of you. Hey, Peter. Harry will be coming back from Europe early next year. Maybe the two of you can start that business you always talked about. This is opportunity knocking. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. They, they, they didn't take everything. Maybe we could start over. Peter, there's no we. Without the grant from the city, I can no longer pay you. I need some time to think. If I were you, I'd look for a new job. Sanitation, this is Eddie. Yeah, hi. Uh, I'm trying to track down some items that were accidentally picked up from a dumpster outside my apartment. Dumpster number? Uh, uh, hang on. Uh, 64476. That's Route 33. Truck's already left at shift. If your stuff's not there, you're out of luck. Wait, wait, please. This is important. Can you at least tell me where the truck is? Check. All right. Looks like it should be at the municipal garage at Bowery and Grand. Got it. Thanks, Eddie. I, I can't take this. You can and you will. I'll pay you back. Soon. Just ask for help next time. Oh, you are so much like Ben. You have to learn to swallow that Parker pride and accept that you're human, like the rest of us. Martin. I'm sorry to interrupt. Just wanted to let you know I'm headed out of town. You're in charge while I'm gone. Well, you can count on me. How long will you be away? really don't know. Is everything okay? It's some personal business I've been planning for a while. But please take care of this place. It represents the best part of me. Well, I 
Guess I better get busy. Welcome, everyone. And before I hand it off to Mayor Osborne, I'd just like to say a few words. Our city is so, so such exemplary citizens. I think this gang war may finally be over. With that, like, I would like, to hand like it over, to over? over? I'm, I mean, there's some loose ends still to be tied up, but... Loose ends. Well, a truck pulled away from the scene from a company called Consolidated Shipping. Something's not right about it. I just don't know what. Hmm. Well, maybe after this we can grab some coffee. Figure it out together. Yeah. Um... Well, thanks, Jim. Couldn't have said it better myself, but I'll try. We all know that Officer Davis is a hero. But, uh, instead of coffee, maybe we could have dinner instead. I, I could come over, uh, I'll cook. Or we could... You know, meet at a totally neutral location for a completely normal meal cooked by professionals. <laughs> for acts of extraordinary bravery, above and beyond the call of duty, it is my privilege to present Officer Jefferson Davis with a Department Medal of Honor. Phone call, sir. I'm kind of in the middle of something here, Jim. It sounds urgent, sir. Fine. Congratulations, sir. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I share this honor with my family. My wife, Rio, and my son, Miles. Without their support, I... I couldn't do what I do. Yes, I've worked many years for this moment. Who is this? Over the coming days, your company, your city, and everything you care about will be destroyed. People will beg you for help, but you won't be able to save them. <laughs> Listen, jackass, I get threats like this twice a week. Why don't you grow a pair and tell me what you want? To watch you suffer.
I'm sorry for your loss. Do I know you? I'm Peter Parker. I was at City Hall when... Look, I know you don't know me, but I just wanted to say... I know what you're going through. Uh, that's what you were going to say, right? Or it all gets easier with time. Or don't worry. It's, it's part of God's plan. I'm sorry. I was just try trying to help. I know. I'm sorry about that. I don't know what I'm gonna do with him. Peter. So if you're running this place while Mr. Lee's out of town, who's doing your old job? Uh, me, but I could always use more help. You know anyone? Actually, I do. His name is Miles Morales. Why does that sound familiar? His father was being honored at City Hall. Oh. I talked to him at the funeral. He's a smart kid. He's just having a tough time. I knew a boy like that once. I remember it helped to uh, stay busy. It might help him too. Here's his mom's number. Thanks. I'll give her a call. Hey, you haven't heard from Mr. Lee, have you? No, why? I'm just curious. I've got a few minutes before work. I'm gonna look around, see if there's anything else I can do to help you out. Oh, you, you don't have to. I know. I want to. Hello, Peter. Mr. Lee. I thought you were out of town. Did you find what you were looking for? Martin, you're back. Can get that. Thank you. And heading off again shortly, I'm afraid. Just needed a few things from my office. You must have heard about City Hall. Yes. Tragic. Peter was there. He was very lucky. And an Osborne rally. I didn't know you were a fan. Well, what matters is you are both safe. Amen. But the bombers are still out there. Who knows what they've planned next? Oh, I don't think you or May have anything to worry about. As long as you stay away from places you're not supposed to be. Well, I should go. When will you be back? When my work is done. Wait, wait, wait! Ready? <laughs> Everything okay? This is all your fault, Norman, you son of a... Well, I know who you're not voting for in the next election. Sorry. I uh, have a habit of making bad jokes in tense situations. <laughs> uh, it was a good joke, Parker. 
Just a bit of an overreaction on my part. No, don't worry. Uh, why don't you take a break? I'll, uh, I'll clean this up and uh, get us ready for another test. So, uh, hope you don't mind me asking, but it seems you and Norman have a bit of a history. We were lab partners in college. Became friends. Decided to start a business. We both had visions of changing the world just in different ways. Wait, you were at Oscorp when it started? I'm half the reason it's called Oscorp. In grad school, everyone called us the O's. <sighs> Add Corp to that and, well, it is a catchy name. Well, why'd you leave? Norman became more and more obsessed with genetics. He started a project I considered unethical. And there was this... Anyway, lawyers got involved. I chose to leave in exchange for a settlement. But that money didn't last very long. I've relied on grants ever since. If this project doesn't work... Don't worry. It'll work. Uh, let, me, let me just fix this up. I'll brew some fresh coffee. Oh, why don't you do the honors this time? We did it. Next step, neural interface. That's a lot of work for you to do by yourself. You sure you can handle it? Apparently not, judging by today's debacle. Because I still haven't found another job. My funds are still... I know. It's okay. Don't worry, I'll figure it out. What's a few bucks when you're trying to change the world, right? To changing the world. You are not gonna believe what happened. So you know that address you gave me? I went there. MJ. I know, I know, but wait. What is this? Just listen. Okay, I wanna say don't ever do that again, but since I know you're going to anyway, here. Take a few of those next time. Nice, thanks. You know Tombstone is crazy and pretty much invincible, right? Everybody has their weakness. Mine is whatever you're cooking right now. <laughs> it smells amazing. The chicken curry. Uh, just needs some time to simmer. No dumplings, I hope. You're never going to let me live that one down, are you? Nope. <laughs> the great dumpling catastrophe. I still can't believe they evacuated the entire building. I know, and in January, too. <laughs> Your neighbors hated me. Yeah, they were pretty happy when we broke up. <laughs> yeah. So, let's talk about what you found in Lee's office. Well, Lee clearly has issues with Norman Osborne. Yeah, but, but why? I don't know yet. But his next move looks like it involves devil's breath, whatever that is. Yeah, I'll dig into it. So I was thinking, what if we teamed up? You want to be my sidekick? Like a spider girl? Spider woman. No. Woman. No, not a sidekick. A partner. Oh. Not again. Ah. Hey, it's your crime system thingy. Looks like a residential break-in. Charles Standish. Hmm. That sounds familiar. Oh, Oscorp CFO. Wait, you don't think this has anything to do with Lee, do you? Sorry to cook and run. Did, did you just leave your clothes on the kitchen floor? Uh... The 
where, where do you want me to... Uh... Just the couch is fine. <laughs> yeah. See you later? Yeah. I call that a mild success. I call that unbelievable. Do you need some help? Yes. Doctor, what's going on? It's become that obvious. My doctors call it a degenerative neurological disorder. Probably caused by overexposure to toxic chemicals in my reckless youth. Sorry, is, is, is there anything I can do? You already are. The worst part is, it only affects the muscles. The mind continues to work, but... it can no longer do. You're the only one who knows, Peter. I'd like to keep it that way. Of course. Uh, if you'd like to seek a position with more of a future... I, I came here to work for you because of what you've got up here. And that's not going anywhere. So neither am I. Be back soon, Mr. Hey, hey, Miles. Pete. Hey, um, sorry I'm late, man. Oh, no, no, I'm just glad you're here. All right, so, um, what can I do to help? Why don't you start just by, uh, getting comfortable with the place. Uh, meet a few people. You know what? Everybody loves coffee. Coffee? All right. And I'll be back in a little while to check on you. Is that cool? Yeah. Oh, don't worry about Mr. Hodges. He doesn't bite. Much. You sure? Coffee? Thanks. Need help? Not unless you know what the hell a quark is. It's a subatomic particle. You know, the building block of protons, neutrons, hadrons? Subatomic? It fits. Good one, kid. Piece of junk. <clears throat> oh, hell. Damn hunk of junk. Uh, you mind if I take a look? Eh? Oh, we have a couple of CRTs at school. I know how to fix these when they're... CR what? No, no, you just gotta smack it. Double time. Get it going. Or, could be a loose coax cable. <sighs> all right, all right. Be my guest, huh, mister? Smarty pants. Hey, please, go ahead. Okay. 
Tributes continue to pour in for Officer Jefferson Davis, the hero killed in the City Hall bombing, as reports emerge that he used his own body to shield others in his last moments of life. Hey, hey new kid. I'm empty here. Rio and son Miles, as well as brother Aaron. In addition to the hero. Man didn't do nothing heroic except get himself blown up. Hey, Ernie. I see you've met Miles. He's gonna be helping out around here. You may have heard of his father, Jefferson Davis. Pretty great that even though he's got a lot of stuff going on right now, he decided to come and volunteer. Don't you think? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, thanks. Uh, listen, Cat, I'm, I'm... Sorry about your dad. Come on, Miles. Let's see if Ant-Man needs a hand in the kitchen. Hey, May. I gotta take off, but, uh... Brought some help for you. Hi, Miles. Nice to see you. Well, grab an apron, wash your hands, and I'll show you around. Hey, hey Peter. Um, thanks for that back there. Of course. Hello? Parker! <laughs> Just in time to celebrate. Celebrate? Wait. Where are the arms? Oh, wow. So cool. But how did you... Intracranial neural network. Neurotransmission speeds under one nanosecond. Faster than signals travel inside the brain. Never mind to an external prosthesis. We did it, Peter. No one can take this away from us. Amazing. I... And your work on the neural web was the key. But we haven't even tested it yet. There's so much we don't know. It works beautifully. Uh, come on, take a look. This is bad. Doctor? Doctor, I've found a potential problem. Everything has problems if you look hard enough. But fortune favors the bold. It's time to show the world what we've done. Otto, the neural web isn't isolating your motor neurons. It could be affecting other parts of your brain, your, your inhibitions, your mood. I, I just think we need some more tests. We've got enough tests! For the first time in my life, I don't feel like a failure. I feel like me. Otto, you're not a failure. But this could permanently damage your mind. Please. Right. Right. Don't worry. We're close. I'll keep at it. I'll work out some bugs. Go. Go. Are you sure you're okay? Yes. Thank you, Peter. For... For everything. is now behind bars. When I make a promise to this city, I keep it. The people of New York will soon make a decision that could change the course of this city forever. So when you're casting your vote, remember what I've done. We are all safer now than we have ever been. Liar! You have no idea what you're in for. Peter! Y you okay? <sighs> I'm getting by. I don't know how I feel about you running this place all by yourself. 
And these people need help. If I lose a few hours of sleep, so be it. So have you heard from Mr. Lee since? No. But the Martin I know couldn't have done that. Whatever's become of him, that's not the one I want to remember. So, how are things with MJ? Oh, it's, uh... Well, you know, she's, uh... It's, uh... It's, it's complicated. Honesty. That's what got me and Ben through the rough patches. You guys had rough patches? Oh, sure. Especially when we were your age. So, are you honest with her? Does she know the real you? Hey, turn it up. I want to hear this. A spokesperson for the police has confirmed that this was the truck carrying the device used in the Grand Central Terminal attack. Oh, it never ends. Peter? Right over here. Until Miles gets back, the best thing we can do is keep everyone fed. Oh, Peter, it is so good to see you. How are you? Healthy? I'm good. How are you holding up, May? Good, but busy. Oh, let me go. <coughs> oh. oh, there. <coughs> I'm okay. Didn't you tell me something once about accepting that I'm human just like everyone else? You and Ben. <coughs> Masters at turning my own words against me. I am fine, Peter. Just a little rundown. Where's Miles? Could he help out? No, he is. He's off picking up medical supplies from the relief center. It's amazing how quickly we go through antibiotics. Okay. You stay off your feet for a bit. I'll organize the unloading and check in with Miles. Deal? Deal. Give me a chance to nurse my wounded Parker pride. Come on, Miles, answer. Don't make me worry about you and me. The impossible, Doc. But now I have to destroy it with a little creation of my own. I won't let you win. This means too much to me. Not more than it means to me. You see? 
all the people you're hurting? You'll never understand! You haven't suffered like I have! You should be on my side! I was! me, Peter. Then I guess you'll have to save yourself! <sighs> to change the world you have to be the kind of man who can make the hardest decisions <gasps> I couldn't agree more you as a son. I should have known you'd turn on me, just like all the others. Turn? Turn? I've worshipped you, your mind, your conscience, wanting to help others, the way you never gave up. That's because men like us have a duty, a responsibility to use our talents in the service of others. Even if they don't appreciate it, we have to do what's best for those beneath us, whether they understand it or not. No, you're wrong! You are everything I wanted to be! You just threw it away! Yes, of course. You're right, Peter. Oh. I see that now. The neural interface affected my mind. But I can fix it. We can fix it together. If you'll help me. Do everything I can. I'll make sure you get the best help. No! If they put me away, they'll take my arms! I'll be trapped in this useless body! Please, Peter. That wasn't me. You said you'd never abandon me. You promised. Remember? And of course, you rest easy. 
knowing your secret is safe with me. You do what you think is best, Doc. It's all any of us can. Peter. Even when it hurts like hell. Peter, where are you going? Peter! Still viable. We'll need the entire sample as a base to produce more doses. How long will that take? A few hours. Maybe a day. What if we use it to cure someone right now? Then there won't be enough to cure the others. I'll give you a few minutes. You're gonna be okay, ma'am. I've got the cure right here. Take off your mask. I wanna see my nephew. You knew? I've known for a while. I never wanted you to worry. I did. And I am so proud of you. And Ben would be too. All the people you've saved. I don't know what to do. Yes, you do. So? Hi, Mary Jane Watson, associate editor. 
Congrats. Thank you. I knew you could do it. <laughs> what about you? Find a job yet? Oh, no, but, uh... I'll be right with you, honey. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I was actually considering maybe a career change. Hmm? Yeah, I think I might want to become a chef. <laughs> I'm sorry, no, it's... You're a scientist. A good one. Yeah, the last project I worked on, I created a monster octopus that almost destroyed the city, so... Yeah. <sighs> I mean, you do make a hell of a chicken curry. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Still working on my dumplings, though. Going camping? Oh, uh, my uh, new place isn't gonna be ready for about a week, so I'm gonna be crashing with Miles for the next few nights. Oh. You know, you can always stay at my place. Only if you want to. No, I, I, mean, I, mean, I mean, yes, I mean, no, no, I don't I not want to, but meaning I, I, I do want to, but only if you do. I never stopped wanting to. Me neither. I'm not an expert or anything, but I think it's in the way that you ask her. Uh, I'm getting too nervous. <laughs> hey, all right, so where do you want this? Uh, right over here is fine. All right. <sighs> hey, so, Peep? Yeah. I, uh, kind of got to talk to you about something I can't tell my mom about. What's up? Well, um, weird things have been going on. Like, physically. Oh. Oh. Uh, well, you know, you're at that age where, where your, your body starts to change. And so you may be noticing some areas, no. for example. Not that. Uh, I think it's, I think it's better that I just, um, I show you, I show no, you. No, 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 no. <laughs> It's pretty weird, right? Not that weird. still haven't found a body? No. Do you think she survived? I don't know. I mean, anything's possible, but... So, how's it feel to not be a dad? <laughs> no. No, I'm serious. Honestly, I, uh... I'm kind of relieved. Yeah, I've got a lot going on, you know. Yeah, you do. But... I think you're gonna be an amazing dad someday. At the right time. <laughs> With the right person. <laughs>